Stumbling block in my life Them no wants to strive One day at a time to give more blessing Even in abundance sorry ain't got nothing Still I call for me king It's more blessing Give thanks life loot and fair present The mindset Blessed love, manners and respect Do give thanks and praise for the life This is the Mindset Program I just am your host And I'm here with a great honor To be here with the Honorable Muta Baruka yeah man, give thanks man, Rastafari. Yes sir, give thanks. First and foremost, I want to um, congratulate you on your lifetime. Oh, achievement, man. Yeah, yeah, I repeat. Yes. Man. But we don't get it yet. We don't get it yet. No, the 24th. Right, the yeah. mindset, top provoking. You know. I'm your host, and I'm your idol star. And we're there with our brand new mindset series live on the YouTube. Subscribe, I just start Mindset Channel, YouTube, bless the love. Blessed love, blessed love, warm welcome one and all. Holy Manuel I King Celestia Ja Rastafari. Yes, brothers and sisters, yeah, one more day above ground and we giving thanks and praise for life, you know, cause you don't know life is the greatest position not no greater than life all right no matter what go on so we have to preserve life zin the best way we can right and our car you see a whole parting a go on where a take with life zin yeah all partings are go on different from the normal things them were we used to you see me say but a day to day we will know say boy you know it even so on a way if you say it like that but you know it's just the reality we will know say boy you know you have to try to protect your life no matter what you see me say enough ones are lose them life zin true to you know criminal activities you see me, sir? And probably sometimes some foolishness. You see it? Yeah, some you know, weird way. But I want to greet the item officially in the divine name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Il Selassie I, the first, conquering line of the tribe of Judah, elect of God, light of this world, His own divine majesty. Emperor Il Selassie I the first. Yeah man, so give thanks again. You know what I mean? Um, it's a pleasure to be here. And as the item can sip on um you know the screen. Black youths in London. Yeah, and that's how we are look pan we are look pan black youths in London where is you know the life is just being taken away like that see and some of the time it's black youths against black youths and it's so on a way but you know it's 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 the reality you understand yeah it's so on a way but it's the reality that we see Aguan, right and Jano, it shouldn't it shouldn't be like that. Shouldn't be like that. What are you so with that? Is it me? Yes, so with that. Yes, so with them people, and it no look good. Zin, it no look good, cause. A lot of parents, a lot of families, you know, is going through heartache. Is going through a lot of grief, a lot of pain for losing a loved one, a brother or a sister or a uncle, a son. It dread. And that is where 
we see a go on in London and is it something that we are following from even last year? Cause last year we see how knife crime does escalate within the black community where black youths are stab up them one another. Now them think that it have a change because the amount of youths that get stab up last year it break records. That is for how serious the thing is. The amount of black youths will die by gun and knife but mostly knife mostly knife knife is the thing where the youths them bring see mm -hmm. knife are the thing now the amount of youth were died by knife last year the amount of parents were ball and cry and how could this be? And the next parent son over there so killed a parent the youth. All black people. See? All black people. Now, how long this is going to go on for? Because here we can look upon systematic racism. That is there, of course. There's no doubt about that. We all know that. See? And yeah, it probably have a lot to do with what is going on how these youths are operating but that shouldn't ultimately be the reason why we must could have find a way to set way to change that because we have got to change our circumstances because if it is like that and it is making you know, it, 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 if it is like that, we're going to have to change it. Because if we don't change it, and we can't depend on anyone else to change it, because it is like it's within the system favor for it to go like that. See? It? So, who are we going to rely upon? We're going to have to rely on ourselves. Because it is ourself this thing is happening to. Our youths, our niece, our nephews, our brothers, our sisters, grandson, granddaughter. You see? How we ever fix this? Because it needs fixing. It needs fixing. The age, the age bracket where the youths them are, them are, them are lose them life. The age bracket. Over the last three, two, three, two to three weeks, the amount of youths were lose them life. And when you check them age, when you check them youths age, general, babies, you know what I mean? Them youths don't live no life yet. So, are we going to play into the hand of the system where the youths them are losing their life? And we are gonna sit back and say all the time that boy this is systematic racism then oh 
how we going better ourselves because this thing is there and it is not being fixed. So how we going to fix this? Because as I say, it's I and I, it has happened to. It not happened to nobody else. You don't find that in other communities so much where the youths them are killing off themselves. I not say it happen. But when you look at the numbers against black youths against black youths with some of these crimes, it is high. It is high. See? We have to face the facts. We can't play a blind eye. See? Can't be biased against the thing. As we say, we know there is that systematic racism, that element is there. See? And it has a lot of branches to it. See? It have a lot of branches to it. Yes, we know that. But the youths them cannot continue to go down like that. We cannot continue because this is our community. This is our people. We are supposed to be building. Not destroying. All those beautiful youths, them life does destroy. It's a shame, man. It's a big shame. Seriously. We can't depend upon nobody to fix this for us. It's us. It's us going off to fix this thing. Because if we don't fix it, believe you me, it going continue upon a repetitive, repetitive, nothing going to change. And that is what we want for our youth. Can't be. Now, when we check Wagwan from January, we are seven months in. Seen? And from January 20, Enas, Menanas, Menanas, 17, died in hospital after being stabbed in Tottenham. The previous evening, two boys, both age 16, were charged with murder. January 25th, Romario Opa, 15, was stabbed to death in Archway. February 11th, Annie Salaman, 19, was stabbed to death outside P Parsons Green Troop Station. Two teenagers were charged with murder. See? Listen good enough. Listen good. These are youths. These are youths, you know. Listen what I go on. Black youths. February 19. Derek and Pattison, 16, died in hospital after being stabbed in Wembley previous evening. All right, so that's a from, all right. February 26, Ahmed Becker, 19, was stabbed to death in Paddington Green. March 3rd, Ty O. Daniel, 19, was stabbed to death in Croydon. A woman, 22, was charged with murder. Wow. See, see, uh, 
see what the thing said. March 6, Maza, Owusu, Mensa, 18, was stabbed to death in Abbey Wood. March 8, Nicole Van Vidi, 19, was stabbed to death in Tottenham. Two boys, aged 15 and 17, was charged with murder. March 10, Azara Obikio, 14, died in hospital for days after his five-year-old brother, Joseph Obikio, died following a fire in the family flat where Victoria uh, okay another life that gone see yeah March 17 thing I see you soon Hassan Chudbury, 18, was stabbed to death in Walthamstone. A teenager was charged with murder and two counts of attempt murder. April 10, Levi Ernest Morrison, 17, was fatally stabbed in Sydney. A woman aged 36 was charged with murder. April 23rd, Faris Mato, 14, was stabbed to death in Conningtown. Wow, Jano. My people, these are youths, youths, youths. Listen, good enough. Youths, the age. April 26, Abuka Junior Ja 18 was stabbed to was stabbed and shot in Canning Town. Stabbed and shot in Canning Town. Channel. This is in London. You know. This is in London. London we are talking about here. See? Alright. May 7, Daniel Loco, 16, was stabbed to death in Aralwood. Five teenagers were charged with murder. Five teenagers. See? Teenagers killing teenagers. Mm. I don't know why I said these things are not serious. Alright. June 8, Taylor Cox, 19, was shot in Croydon Hill. When, was, ch was shot in Church Hill. A teenager aged 19 was charged with murder. June 10, Narada Samuel Brooks, 17, was fatally stabbed in Sydney. Four teenagers was charged. Mm. June 11th, Julian Woods Bell, 15, was stabbed in his. A boy age 15 was charged with murder. My people, I'm going to continue now. June 25th, a 19-year-old was stabbed to death in Sydney. July 1st, Cameron Smith, 16, is stabbed to death in Croydon shortly after midnight. July 5th, 
Tamim, Ian, Abinia, Abimian. 15 is stabbed to death in Woolwich at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Channel. July 5th. 16 year old Karen Fallen Arlen is stabbed to death in Oval Palace Lambert at about 11.45 p.m. My people. These, I want a second dolence to you know, to all those families, you know, I want to say condolence to the item. So last year, you know, you know, more strength, more strength, more strength, uh, more strength to the item, more strength to the item. More strength to the item, so last year, you know. But, um, this is serious. This is serious, my people, and um, if we don't see that it is a serious thing that is happening and it need to address, then we're in problems. And if we're waiting for people, other people, to solve our problems, then we're in more than problems. You understand? So, we're going to have to change this judgment ball thing here. It's not looking great. It's not looking good. This is our community. It is our neighborhoods or what, you know what I mean? The ghettos. The slums. But none of these things are in London. London... Is a first world. First world. See? So no slums, no ghettos is in London. No. So we shouldn't really have these type of things. We shouldn't have our youth being eat up like bread no the system is taking away the youths them and we sit down and we watch netflix and we watch youtube and we watch all these other whole part different things not saying they're bad or good but instead of trying to fix this problem, we're busy consuming other things, not paying attention to our youths, that the youths them can go out there and lose them life and also create criminal activities because where where is the youth them the youth them is outside when them should be inside and we know them can't be inside all the time but if them time when them was inside and they are instilled the things them what they're supposed to instill into the youths them so they know that when they see them brother, they're not gonna kill them brother. They're not gonna fight them brother. Because we already a fight a war where it design and it takes time 
for really see, say, we are fight a war. You understand? And enough of the youths them now go overstand because it's like it's an invisible war. See? Because they're not see up on the back of field where you know you dress up like a soldier and you're gone out there going, you know what I mean? Fight some other people for them lands and them things. No. We are fighting a different type of war. But when you tell the youths them these things, they must say, what type of war? You can't show them. Because they now overstand that is a systematical war. Warfare. And them can't see it yet. So you have to try your best now. To show them. So them overstand. So them a fight the war also. Them is not out of it. See? So them have to love them one another. Because the more we are together. And the happier we shall be. So last year I know my people. See? Yeah. We have to know, we have to know, we have to know. We can't continue upon this same page where the youths them are kill off them one another. Youths in a London. Listen man. We now fight a war. Don't be the load. By all of this thing we want to see a go on. It's a different type of war. See? And it is evident. The evident is there. Just recently with the football. You see how them behave and react. After some youth. Miss some penalty in football. Football, a sport. It's a sport. Come on, it's a game. You win some and you lose some. But you see the reaction when they want to point the blame upon some guys and say, Yo, are them guys the cars with the lose? So, the evidence is there of the type of warfare. You understand? That is a perfect example. See the oats? Yeah. And we go going to rise above that. Go going to rise above that. You understand? Because that is not your level. That is not your destiny. That shouldn't be your goal. Rise, black youth. Stop killing yourself. Rise up. Know on yourself. On a great. You know, coming from a lineage of greatness. Remember who you are. Black youths in London. Greatness run through the blood line of every one of the item. Love on herself. Love on herself. Stop kill off on yourself. Go into prison. How much youths? This a guy in a prison. Five youth this a get arrested. Five youth this a get arrested. Five youth this a get arrested. Now five youth against one youth. 
Come on. Seriously? Jano you youth. No behave on yourself, man. Behave on yourself, youth. Love no one another, man. Put down the knife. Great things out there for you. Don't play in at the hand of the system. Black youths, African youths, love on yourself. I yes, said, manners and respect, peace and love. Holy Manuel, I Selassie, I Ja, Rastafari. For the first time, they had them a tune in on the platform. Please like, share, and most of all, subscribe if you love the vibration. Mindset, peace and love, you know, Rastafari.